Hey everyone, welcome back. Time for another edition of the Pick 6. I'm your host, Mike Wobshall, inside TCO Studios. Thank you for submitting your questions. Now let's get to work and to answer your questions. Number one comes from Michael in Cincinnati. I believe the passing game needs to get going a little more against the Bears on Sunday. Their defense is stout. What do we need to do more of in this game? Well, I think we need to do more of running the football so we can do that. Play action passing, Cousins to Thielen, Cousins to Diggs, Cousins to Rudy, Cousins to Irv Smith. It all works a lot better when we can play action and when we can bootleg. And that only becomes effective if you are also a threat to run the ball. So the Vikings need to remain balanced, give the ball to Dalvin Cook and Alexander Madison, and then we can do that, spread the ball to the playmakers. Next question comes from Casey. What message would you give to all of the Kirk Cousins doubters now? Well, I don't have any message to give to Kirk Cousins doubters. You can doubt our quarterback if you want to, but our quarterback is tough, he's resilient, and he hates losing. So I expect him to remain competitive, and I expect him to play well at Soldier Field. This is a week-to-week -week league, and no one knows that better than our quarterback. I have the utmost confidence in him. He's going to play a really good defense, but guess what? We have an offense that's playing really well right now, so I can't wait to watch our quarterback at Soldier Field. Next question comes from Brent in Thief River Falls, Minnesota. I have been obsessed with the Vikings offensive line play for years. How much do you attribute coaching to the improved offensive line? Well, I think you win in this league with players, so credit goes to those guys up front. We've added Garrett Bradbury, and he's been impressive so far. Riley Reef is solid as a tackle, so is young offensive tackle. Brian O'Neill. So the players are doing a good job of playing well. How about Dakota Dozier right there on the screen? He stepped in in a couple of games to help some injured players and he's played well. But that guy, Rick Dennison, that guy, Gary Kubiak, they have built strong, athletic, mobile offensive lines for years and they've paved the way for some really good rushing attacks. But this might be the best one they've had, at least in the early going it is. Dalvin Cook is the NFL's leading rusher and I give a lot of credit to Gary Kubiak and Rick Dennison for the improvement. Next question comes from Tim. Is it just me or is Eric Wilson fast? That guy looks like he is being shot out of a cannon when he blitzes. Yeah, Eric Wilson played really well against the Raiders last week. He had two sacks and he led us in tackles. So an outstanding performance from the young linebacker who has filled in both for Anthony Barr and Eric Kendricks in his career. So Wilson also has some position flexibility. He's very good on special teams and when we need him to start a game, he can do it for us. With Ben Gideon and with Eric Wilson, the Vikings have great depth at linebacker when it comes to our defense. Next question comes from Bruce in Connecticut. With the recent struggles from our rookie center, why wouldn't we replace him with Brett Jones? Well, two things on this, Bruce. I'm a little confused. I mean, Garrett Bradbury is a first round pick and he's playing really well. Yeah, he's had a couple of holding penalties that we want to try and resurrect, but overall, Garrett Bradbury has been doing a great job, particularly as a run blocker for Dalvin Cook. Second thing is, I'm glad we have Brett Jones. He can provide some depth at center and at guard. He's a tough, strong guy, so I'm glad we have him but I don't think we need to replace Garrett Bradbury. And the final question comes from Ryan in Lionel Lakes, Minnesota. What do you make of the roster moves this week? Well, it's always good to get familiar faces back in the building. With Marcus Sherrills, the Vikings get a reliable, a dependable, a sure-handed punt returner and a guy who can take it to the house every now and then. With Laquan Treadwell, the Vikings get some more depth at wide receiver and they get a guy who knows this offense because he's been here for the last five seasons. So good to have those familiar faces back in the building. They're really going to help our depth and Marcus Sherrills is going to help us on special teams right away. That's going to do it for this week's edition of the Pick 6, but we will be back in two weeks. So make sure you submit your questions into the email address at the bottom of the screen and maybe we'll see you in the next edition of the Pick 6. In the meantime, next week another episode of The Voyage drops. So make sure you stay tuned to Vikings.com for that.